Okay, I have it hooked up to the shaker box. So here's what it sounds like without the Mantic pedal on. You get the idea. All right, let's turn the pedal on. Turn the volume up. Okay, let's play with these knobs a little bit. Some pretty uh, brutal highs there. All right. Let's set it to low. So you can see when that knob is set to max, it mostly just makes this crackling noise, which I think would be pretty good for making thick walls of noise. You know, in addition to some other pedals and sound sources. And that kind of thing. see about mid-range a little bit farther um you get the crackle sound and also some of the original sound from the shaker box Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I am going to run some sound sources into a distortion pedal and then into the Mantic Hive Mind because generally I would not use a fuzz on its own unless I was trying to maintain some more of the original character of the sound or something like that. So um, we're just going to run a distortion through that and that should uh, make things a little bit more uh, interesting. Let's see how it sounds with it ran into a distortion pedal and then into the Mantic Hive Mind.
right, let's see how the comb sounds through them both as well. test of the uh, Mantic Hivemind DoD BuzzBox clone. Hope you enjoyed the video. I don't get paid to do these at all. I just do this for fun as like a hobby so that other people can look up and see what pedals and other equipment are good for noise and experimental music, you know, without having to put down the money themselves and see if it, you know, if it's good or not. Um, so I think it's a pretty good pedal. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, Stay tuned for the next video in, I don't know, another three months. <laughs> okay, bye.